大家好，欢迎来到海怡讲坛。看我今天后面的背景是美国的白宫，也是最近白宫很很热闹，呃，也是全球也很热闹，中国也很中国人呢也很关注啊、呃、美国大选的问题，呃，中国人也是没有像这个前所未有的关心美国的总统大选。关心美国政治，所以呢，我觉得更多的中国人呢，也是在关心呃未来新的政府对于呃这个对华的政策和我们自己中国发展的这个未来的预测。所以这个呃，我这个后面的白宫呢，是最近是很热闹。呃，我们这次的海怡讲坛呢，我们邀请了呃，这次海怡讲坛呢是由呃。我们海怡智库和美国亚太星河集团来共同主办的。呃，我们呢这次呃非常有幸的邀请到美国这个星河亚太星河集团的董事局主席啊 ，Michael North 先生。Michael， can you、uh, say hello to audience？ 嗯 ，Hello， 你好，你好。嗯，谢谢。还有美国亚太星河集团的。董事局副主席，呃，周小芳女士，大家好，嗯、呃，谢谢，谢谢。呃，他们二位呢是一对非常恩爱的这个很中中美的这个呃，就是很很很典型的恩爱的中美夫妻。呃，他们呢两个人同时也是周恩来和平。研究院的两位共同的创始人，啊、呃，所以呢，他们是叫和平使者，啊、呃，我们因为也是有很多年的老朋友关系，他们一直在中美之间呢，对于和平的事业做出了呃非常这个大的贡献，啊、uh, ，Hello, good evening, and welcome to Hai Institute. You see, my background is the America White House. In recent days, the White House are a bit busy. So, the presidential election, presidential election,、um, even we、uh, we haven't、uh, seen the any official、uh, legal announcement from America. But we notice that、uh, Joe Biden has、uh, won the election. But even we, while we waiting for the result. Uh, we we uh, uh, have the honor to to invite、uh, the chairman of、uh, Mr. Michael North and the vice chairman of、uh, Miss Mrs. Xiaofangzhou, the APG Galaxy Trade and Technology LLC, and both of them they are the very good couple for、uh, you know good example for Chinese and America. Uh, go along very much. Go along with they are they are lover <laughs> couple,、mm -hmm. so they are also a peacemaker.、Uh, both of them they are the founder for Zhou Enlai Peace Institute. You know we are friends for uh, uh, many years, and I have seen them、uh, both of them. They are、uh, doing lot of contribution for、uh, for the peace. Uh, between especially between China and America, so we know、um, you know、uh, recent years China and America the relationship got、uh, getting worse and worse. But in the people's level, we、uh, we marry together, we have very good relationship. But we wish use the people's、uh, power strengthen the China and America government relationship. And this、uh, lecture we are co-jointly hosted by Haiyi Institute and uh, America uh, APG Galaxy Trade and Technology LLC. So、um, I might have a, a question to ask、uh, both of you.、Um, you know, we notice that、uh, even Joe Biden. Uh, win the、uh, presidential election, but we haven't、uh, received any United States official announcement for the winner. But during during this、uh, this time,、uh, 
we we would ask you how China and America can go along with like your couple. 啊，就是我的第一个问题呢，想问问呢，就是虽然在呃，这个我们也注意到 ，Joe Biden 已经他自己宣布他赢了，但是呢，美国还没有官宣，所以我们呢，想在这个阶段呢，我们也想请您二位来，呃，来来谈一谈，无论谁赢了这个，谁是下一届的这个美国总统，那中美关系如何能够像你们这种中美夫妻一样，可以？呃，非常好的有包容、理解和这个呃，实现一个非常好的关系啊。Thank you, Michael. You please, or Xiao Fang, you please first. <laughs> Who who's the first? 大家好，大家好。Miu、uh, Li, it's a great pleasure to see you again, to see your face and hear your voice. We、uh, say hello to you, all of our great friends at Beiwai and across Beijing and. Across China, we are wanted to come and be with you. Our plan was we were to be there in March. Everyone remembers what happened in March of this year. So、uh, until Michael, this can time, can I do some translation as well? Okay. Yes. 首先呢，啊、uh, ，我给 Michael 先翻译一下，啊、uh, ，给我们的中国观众，啊、um,。我们很高兴呢，能够跟刘丽呢又在视频见面。我们也是很好的、很长时间的这个朋友。呃，由于疫情呢，把我们相隔在呃两岸，但是呢，我们一直都呃有这个交流啊。所以啊、呃，今天很高兴能够在这里见到彼此。Yeah, Michael, just give me a little time to translate. Okay, thank you. Yes. So in normal times, Xiaofang and I are in China all the time. We spend up to half of our time in China and other half around the world. And、yeah. this was not a normal time. We are coming back as soon as we can, and we'll see you soon, face to face. Yeah, because now is a special time. If we want to be like the old times, we spend most of our time in China. 啊、uh, ，那现在啊， uh, 其他的时间我们会在全球各地。那啊， uh, 希望呢，我们能够尽快呢，啊、uh, ，回到中国。So as to your question, yes, you're correct. There at this moment, uh, this day, uh, November twelfth, we have not yet had an official determination of the election last week. This is not unusual. Uh, it's a very big country. And many states, a lot of counting of votes, and it often takes a little time for the vote counting to complete. Um, 刚才你提的这个问题是没错。啊、uh, ，大选目前呢，啊、uh, ，因为这个美国也是一个很大的一个国家，有很多州。那么票数呢，还在有些州呢，还没有完全。啊、uh, ，提交上来还正在进行之中，所以啊， uh, 但是这种啊， uh, 今天是十一月十二号吧，是我们美国的这个时间，所以啊， uh, 这种情况是正常的，还没有得到这个官方的宣布，因为这个选票还没有都集中到一起来。So in the next few days, this process will be complete. The results will be announced officially. Right at this moment, there are thousands and thousands of people all across America counting the votes, feeding the machines. They want to make sure that everything is perfect. We have the announcements from the press, from the television and the journalists. That is their estimation, and now we will wait patiently to receive the final official. Uh, announcement with everything perfectly counted. Ah,、uh, 几天之后呢，我们会有这个选票的总数。那虽然现在美国的媒体吧已经报道，拜登呢他是啊、呃、赢，就是竞竞选总统的票数啊、呃、估估算呢是超出啊、呃、特朗普。那现在在把这个票数集中啊、呃、这个。啊、uh, ，集中起来以后才能分享啊。Uh, 
大概几天之后吧，就会见分晓。The important thing for our many friends in China is to recognize that America, which was established as a modern republic 250 years ago, we have a long tradition of democracy and stable institutions and the rule of law and participation by people in the government. That tradition. Continues, and part of that tradition is strong relationships with all the countries of the world. And I'll share with you some one fact that maybe even some people don't know in China. When America was first established as a republic, China was one of the first nations to recognize America with diplomats. So we cherish that relationship, which goes right back to the foundation of our country. 那美国呢？啊，成立两百五十周年，哈，两百五十年的历史，呃，他们也有这个传统民主啊，呃，他的这个啊机构吧，已经是很成熟的，而且呢，他希望中国人民要了解美国的这个。机制呢是很啊呃这个有一定的基础，呃，在美国成立啊这个联邦共和国的时候，啊，中国啊那个时候是最早承认美国这个国家，所以呢，我们这个中美之间的这个啊关系呢是啊源远流长的，可以追溯到啊。So as far as current events go, the important thing is to remember that America is founded on the principle of peace and equality. If you look deep into the history of America and you follow the major events, those themes of peace and equality come back. Again and again and again, and it was based on those principles that America and China renewed their diplomatic relations in 1979, and we've carried forward. So those principles are also at the very foundation of China. When you look at the five principles of Zhou Enlai, Zhou Zongli. You find those principles right there. You find the same principles in America. So we continue to adhere to those fundamentals, regardless of what events might take place, regardless of policies and personalities and specific events of one time, one month, one year. Those principles remain steady between America and China. 呃、uh, ，美国呢也是建立在以和平和平等的基础啊，这个原则啊，跟我们中国也是有相同的，像我们总理提出来的五项啊和平共处五项原则。那无论啊现在的这个啊发生的事情啊是暂时的还是啊表面上的，但是美国呢，它的这个。Uh, 基本的原则是不变的，而且是非常坚固的。Another important thing to recognize is that, despite the interruptions of the past three years in the trade relations, you see the headlines, you hear the words go back and forth. Despite that, trade between America and China has continued to develop. Actually, China's trade with America、uh, has increased over the past year, and Americans want to trade and interact more with China. 呃，虽然我们听到很多声音，就是中美之间的这个贸易战也好，啊，啊，这个冲突也好，但是呢，呃，事实上，中美之间的这个贸易啊，在增长，啊。
这个也是一个事实。Another thing to remember is America is not just one type of people. America is all the people of the world. When I I'm in Georgia right now in the South United States, and when I go out into this small town here, I see people from every country in the world. I see people of every race and color, culture, religion. I see people from China. There are、um, places here in this small town in America where we can go and we can speak Mandarin, where we can find Chinese medicine, and there's settlements of Chinese people and people from all over the world, everywhere in America, all sliced together with all the other peoples of the world. So we have a natural desire to connect and reconnect, and this was actually how、uh, Joe Xiaofang and I met, was through this many-layered rainbow of people that make up America. Ah,、uh, 美国呢也不仅仅单纯是美国人，它是各族人民一个呃综合。啊、uh, ，比如说我们现在在这个乔治亚州，那我们见到很多不同民族的人都聚集在这里。这是美国的一个南方的一个州，有很多中国人、亚洲人啊， uh, 所以我们啊、uh, 都是不同的种族呢走在一起。这个实际上是代表的美国，而不仅仅是单独的啊、uh, 纯的纯的。美国人，啊、uh, ，这个也是我们啊， uh, 我们两人之间啊、uh, 见面也是通过不同嘛，不同的这个啊， uh, 他讲的是 color 啊、uh, rainbow of the people， 就是啊、uh, 把人民呢啊啊、uh, 就是各族人民好像彩虹一样各个颜色不同的人民都坐在一起，这也是我们啊、uh, 初时相见在美国<咳>是因为这个原因吧。And the final thing to remember, and my advice and information for our many dear friends across China, who are seeking to understand America, is there are many Americas. Yes, there is the national government in Washington D.C., but we have fifty states. Within those fifty states. There are many counties, there are many cities, and to some degree, each of those states they have their own freedom to have relations with China, to have trade with China, to have travel back and forth and exchanges. California is a very different place than Washington D.C. Our home state, Hawaii, is very different from other big states like. Like、uh, like Georgia, so where there may be a temporary、uh, slowdown <clears throat> in relations at one level in America, there are other opportunities to build relationships between America and China that are open and free and that continue to rise. We've been doing that ourselves, and I'll I'll give you one example. 嗯、um, ，他想呢，就是呃，美国呢有，虽然我们有华盛顿啊，华盛顿 D.C. 啊、呃，这个它是主要是政治文化中心，但是美国有五十个州，每一个州呢，它有不同的这个、呃、合作呀，和它的这个州的根据它本身的这个啊、呃、情况。呃，跟许多国家都有合作，比如说什么姐妹城市啊、友好城市啊，所以这里面呃，每个州呢，他们有各自的这个合作的项目啊，呃、民民间的这个之间的啊、呃、友好交流啊，都在都在各个不同的州吧，呃，比如说我们是从夏威夷。啊，夏威夷呢，我们也有很多的这个跟中国合作的这个啊，已经也有很长的历史了。他想呢，举个例子。Okay. So here's an example.、Uh, Xiaofang and I attended 
a conference of the governors of several American states and several provinces in China. This was in Kentucky, and the Chinese ambassador, ambassador Sui Tian Kai, he came from uh, from Washington for this conference, and several governors came, and they all said, at the last, this was last year, just one one year ago, they all said, the relations between America and China must continue to develop. And one governor in particular, who is the governor of a very conservative state, uh, Kentucky, he gave a talk which was very passionate about his experience with China and building positive relations between people, between businesses, between governments. And he's a very close friend of uh, President Trump. And he was speaking open and openly and freely about building deeper, more complex relationships. He and other governors from conservative states all agreed to these principles. So the opportunities for building deeper relationships between America and China are many. They take patience, they take effort, they take time, yes, but it's worth it. 他举的例呢就是我们最近在一个就是中国的省长和美国的州长他有一个年度的这个论坛会议我们也参加了这个活动那美国呢有很多不同的州呢来州长啊这个市长啊他们都来参加这个活动那这个活动呢是在肯塔
，呃，当时呢，这个媒体呢也在报道啊，这个呃，人民就是这种情感吧，啊，是啊，大家当时都非常的啊感动，也很激动，有的都有落泪的，所以这个呢，是我没有在这个四年嘛，啊，没有见过。已经很久没有见过人民这种发自内心的一种啊一种声音和情感的这个表现，所以啊，的确是也挺震撼。那啊，我们也听到这个拜登和这个他的副手哈啊副总统 Harris 啊的发言、啊，他说的一些话呢，我觉得对我触动也很深，就是啊。<咳>就是民主啊，是不是啊？还有和平吧，不是轻而易举就得来的，是要一直奋斗的，一直要努力的，而不是说啊，我们啊成功了，我们就可以可以就啊啊休息了，而不是这样，而且我们是应该更加的努力。要维系这个民主，维系和平，所以这个需要一代一代的人呢来来接这个，就像接这个火炬一样。所以呢，我们啊，就是能够体现到这个责任和啊和义务吧。啊，所以我觉得啊啊，拜登呢，他他的主主观呢就是啊。不仅仅美国这个民主党和共和党，或者是自由党要合作，对吧？呃呃，不仅如此，还要跟全球的各个国家的啊不同的民族要合作。所以呢 ，collaboration is a is the key. So I thought that 呃，这个呢，我觉得他讲的这一点呢，就是合作啊，多国的、多边的啊，多民族的，我觉得这个是。啊，有利于全球各国人民的这个啊，无论是经济，还有还有政治文化的发展，是健康的发展。呃、um, ，so I'm just gonna、uh, say in English, uh, it is very, um, it's very emotional actually when we heard, uh, the election, um, the president election win the the race. So a lots of people gathering in Washington D.C. celebrate, and lots of people are just,、uh, you know, crying. So I haven't seen U.S. people, American people, in such、uh, spirit, high spirit, in that moment. So,、um, and I heard the speech、uh, from Joe Biden and the Harris, the vice president elect. Um, the vice president elect was talking about、um, the、uh, the the democracy is not free. You have to work hard to to you have to fight for it. Just like a peace, you can't just wait for things happen. You have to work for hard for it, and you have to fight for it.、Mm. And、uh, I thought that was very inspiring, you know, and that's showing the、uh, um, responsibility of a, a leadership. You don't just、uh, take the win and then rest. You have to work even harder and pass on the torch to the next generation. And、uh, for Joe Biden,、um, I like what he's、uh, talking about collaboration. <clears throat> Globally, you know, multi-collateral、uh, and、uh, country to country,、uh, nation to nation,、uh, not just the U.S.、Uh, de democracy and、uh, you know, republic and、uh, democrat or, or liberal.、Uh, we all need. We are human being, right? We need collaboration that based on fundamental peace and equality. I thought that was that speech is also very inspiring to American people, and I hope that、uh, it will be inspired for people around the world. Thank、yeah. you.、Mm.
Thank you, Michael, and thank you, Xiaofang, for your uh, view from people's level to the China and America relationship. You know, I it just uh, so impression on what uh, Michael talked about uh, the Zhou En Lai uh, Five Peace Principle, but uh, seems like uh, recent years the um, America just um, take uh, take the advantage of uh, America priority, and so we are so concerned from people's level, how when the new uh, administration, uh, what will be the uh, new policy, new uh, economic and trade policy towards China. Uh, Michael他提到就是总理周恩来总理当时提出来的和平共处五项原则。那么也似乎最近的这些年没有被提这个没有在这个和平共处五项原则的基础上来处理这个国家和国家之间关系特别是中美的关系那我也想呢就是问一下啊迈克和这个周小芳女士这个下一届的新的总统他这个上任以后会
So it means that we are always doing things together. Sometimes we have a positive competition. Sometimes we have total cooperation on a single goal. And sometimes we exchange back and forth. It's important that we have a constant flow of communication between people. That's what international relations are built from. We say bilateral relations, you know, in the language of diplomacy. What we are trying to build is something much more three-dimensional, multi-dimensional. Bilateral is one-dimensional. We are building relationships that we call them reciprocal. Reciprocal means we have this side and we have this side, and then we bring them together. And they're continually changing and pushing and pulling and making each other stronger. Bilateral is too simple for two such complicated societies and economies. Uh, 不仅就是一边和另一边的双方的合作这种的合作呢是非常简单的但是我们在寻求的合作它是多边性的而且是多元化的这个有的时候呢可能是我们共同有一个目标然后大家为这个一个目标呢来进行合作有的时候是不同的
啊、呃，我们我们的这是我们的要求，然后这个美国谈他的这个要求，所以双方啊、呃、是啊、呃、僵持不下。呃，但是呢，他们从这些很多不同的地方呢，可以找到一丝的呃相同，啊、呃，大家都可以认同的。所以那个时候，总理呢，他们他们的就是在寻找，我们之间的确是有很多不同、很多差异，但是我们要从我们相同的这一小点来开始，从这一小点呢来开始建立我们之间的友谊。但事实也证明了。五十年以后，这些这个小的种子已经开花结果，到处都是呃这个呃合作的这个呃结晶。所以，呃呃 ，Michael 呢，他也觉得我们呃还是要按照我们之间的这个呃，我们理解我们之间的不同，这个也是存在的。但是，我们要从我们相同的这。啊，作为一个起点，然后慢慢的去啊发展，啊，这也是历史证明是可行的。So I draw another piece of experience from our personal work in China. About two and a half years ago, we were introduced to a group of people in Shanxi Province.、Uh, In and around Yulin and Xi'an, these people are miners of magnesium, which is a big asset of China. Now, 100 years ago, their grandfathers, their great grandfathers, they were herding sheep. They were growing vegetables. They lived in a traditional way as their ancestors lived. For hundreds, thousands of years. Today, they want to join the modern world and become international with magnesium. And we came, and Xiaofang and I were very moved. We really were. We were very moved to hear their sincerity, to see their hard work, to see their vision, and to feel their openness to. Cooperation to collaboration. So we went home and we built a team and we found investors and we found resources to come to China to help these people. I saw that it was a great investment, business-wise, for investing in magnesium in the world markets. Very good investment. But the the center of it was our heart. Xiaofang and I were moved. By the hearts of these people from central China, and we felt like we had something beautiful, something important, something peaceful that we could build together. This is the way that America and China can flourish. Ah, this also wants to is he thinks about that we two years ago, right? Ah, friends, he introduced us. We went to Yulin. 然后在榆林呢，主要就是呃接触到这个煤矿的这个冶炼，呃，那我们当时去榆林呢，实际上呃，当然了，这是美的，呃，在全球来讲，它是一个好的商业、好的投资机会。但是呢，我们的中心呢，实际上是呃，在我们见到榆林当地的这个呃居民呐、啊、和工作人员呐、啊。啊，呃，他们给我们的这个印象非常非常的深，所以呢，我们呃那个时候实际上呃真正使我们呃就是建立这个星河集团嘛，呃，实际呢是他的这个初心还是人人与人之间的这个呃相接触以后这种感。这种情感上的，而且还有这个，呃，呃，就是怎么讲呢？呃，它是有血有肉的东西，而不仅仅就是单纯的一个商业模式，哈。所以，呃，这个当时给我们触动是很，就是榆林当地的人民给我们的这个，呃，呃
印象是太深刻了。所以呢，我们啊建立了这个星河，这个亚太星河集团。And I have one final thing to add about America and its spirit.、Uh, in this past election, more people voted than ever before in history. The numbers were bigger. The percentage was bigger <clears throat> than any election since 1908. So, in more than a hundred years, <clears throat> this was the most participation. That America had in any election, so this is good for democracy. Even though many people voted here, many people voted there, the point was they voted, they cared, and in a time that was very, very difficult because the COVID is still everywhere in America. Many people stood in lines for hours and hours. So they could vote, and it was the risk to their own personal health that they left their homes that day. They went out with other crowds of people, big lines, hours going inside. They felt that their commitment to America, to democracy, was more important than their own life. This is. The power and the vision that makes America, and if China truly understands that soul of America, then we will be able to have better understanding, better dealing, more honest, more complete understanding. So I offer that example to you with the greatest humility of. What is the heart of America? I was Canadian, but I became American, so I feel very emotional about America sometimes. Um, he wants to add a point. This is, uh, since 1808, or just 100 years, the American election is 100 years long. Never have there been. 啊，就是最多的一个居民人民的选票，就是很多人都参与了这个啊投票，呃，这个就是也也代表了这个美国的啊这种民主，这种啊就是不顾疫情的这种危险吧，因为现在疫情呢，在美国还是比较严重的。那要参加这个就是投票呢，他要排几个小时的长队才能够去投票，所以啊、呃，这种的啊、呃，这是有史以来吧，是最多的一次。而且呢，拜登呢，这个票数呢，啊、呃，超过所有原来竞选总统的这个票数。所以，如果是啊啊、呃呃，就是让中国人民了解美国人民的这种灵魂的。他们到底是怎样的一个啊？美国人到底是怎么样的啊？可以通过这次选举啊，通过这次啊，不不顾自个人的这个健康哈啊,啊，来来，甚就是来做这个公民的这个义务，这就是美国的这个灵魂深处啊。如果中国人民能够了解美国的这个。人民啊，呃，那可能就会带呃更多的这个理解和啊合作。嗯 ，So， 嗯、呃，因为啊、呃，刚才牛丽呢也讲了，就是我们是夫妻啊、呃，而且是恩爱夫妻啊、呃，所以我简单的也讲一下，就是我们啊、呃、结婚呢是也也是啊 ，twelve、呃、years， 十二年了。呃、嗯，那我们之间呢？呃，因为文化的这个差异呀、啊，呃，我们的工作的这个呃，就是背景不同，所以呢，我们之间不是没有矛盾，都有矛盾。但是我通过这个呃
婚姻，然后合作，又是合作伙伴，所以我们之间的关系还不仅仅就是一个婚姻关系，我们又是合作伙伴，又是啊、呃、和平啊、呃、这个啊、呃、服务嘛，有这个啊、呃、民间的这个啊、呃、义务啊公益上的这个啊、呃、责任，所以我们之间的这个关系呢也是。啊，也是很复杂，呃，不像这个夫妻之间啊、呃，大家生活柴米油盐。我们有的时候是啊、呃，两句啊、呃，那个他在其他地方，我在中国，或者是我们很少像现在一样，还要呃呃，怎么说呢？这个疫情啊、呃，把我们啊、呃，实际上我们待的时间是最长的。要没有这个疫情的话，我们肯定还是啊、呃，两地。不不知道在什么地方了，嗯，作为夫夫妻来讲呢，我我当时这个努力给我这个题目哈、啊、问题的时候，使我联想到我小的时候有一个镜子，我爸爸妈妈的那个镜子，革命伴侣，就是夫妻呢，他一定还要有一个追求，呃，如果只是啊、呃，当然了，我们很也很欣赏这个啊、呃、这种。恩爱夫妻就是过平常的这个生活，夫妻生活，我们也很羡慕啊，不是不好。但是呢，如果说我们因为现在呃呃，国内也好，或者是在国国外，这个婚姻的这个离异非常多，美国就有百分之五十，我听说呢，中国现在离异的也比较多，呃，还是因为。呃，我们虽然在物质上不是说大家找一个伴侣这样生活，他还需要精神上的东西，还要还需要这个呃呃励志吧，啊、呃，可以这样讲。所以我们之间的这个呃关系呢，是通过实际上是通过我们的工作、我们的激情、我们的这个理解和有的时候分开，呃，很多很多的这个呃因素吧，把我们呃等于是。慢慢的，呃，搭建这种感情和友谊啊，而且呢是啊这种志同道合，所以这个是我们的一个呃实际的婚姻的这样的一个啊情况吧。So I I uh Michael, I just talked to because New Lee was asking you and me, we married, we're husband and wife. I said we're not just a husband and wife. We are also partner. We are founder, co-founder、uh, of the peacemaker, you know, and we also the uh, uh, the student to each other and the teacher to one another, and we from different、uh, world.、Uh, so all of that, you know, I I very、uh, inspired for just regular husband and wife, but you and me, we. We still have a, a lot to share and、uh, offer.、Um, it, it's more than, you know, through this working relationship and you know, husband wife and all this other thing we do, we build a stronger relationship. We have a deeper understanding, and that is,、uh, it's a very solid. So,、um, I think,、uh, you know, for. Uh, because、uh, what is even for Westerner and Chinese, there's a lots of divorce、um, for young young younger couples.、Um, because it's not just enough to to find a partner just living for ordinary life, but you need have a, a goal setting. You need have a, a something that to serve, you know, to your community, not just for family, but to your community to. To the city, to to your country, and then to the world. So, that's thank、yeah. you. Uh, uh, thank you, Michael, and thank you, Xiao Fang. Uh, you know, I I know Xiao Fang and Michael for some years, and I have seen they are they are like a spiritual couple, <laughs> not just a regular marriage couple. So, and I'm so、uh, thankful, especially for Michael. You always say China is、uh, our home.、Uh, you know, you as a West 
you know, Westerner. And you trade, of course, you're married to Xiao Fang and you trade China and, and you also have a very deep uh, love to China. And, you know, for the reason for Xiao Fang and also for the reason for China. So, and, and also uh, you are so, both of you couple, especially for the spiritual um, peace. This is my also very impressive for peace. You know, the couple uh, working on it for so many years and contribute a lot on peace, global peace, the world peace. Um, in a, yesterday, the 11th of November, uh, is your uh, Joe Online Peace Institute established for nine years anniversary. So congratulations. And and this uh, this is a very much a great meaning for our webinar, also. Yeah. Um, you know, I Michael, they two people, because I saw them for many years, they are not ordinary husband and wife. They are a spiritual partner. I often talk about them. They are very spiritual things, very spiritual things, very spiritual things, very spiritual things. 呃，所以特别是在就是他们夫妻对，因为这个共同建立这个周恩来和平研究院嘛，然后共同对和平事业的一种贡献啊、呃，这种贡献我看到的是非常大的贡献，呃、各方面的精力上的这个资金方面的啊、呃，各方方面面的这些贡献，我觉得一个夫妇对呃和平的这种贡献真的是很令人尊敬啊、呃，然后特别是在我们。昨天，呃，这个十一号，十一月的十一号，啊，就在我们这个题外话多说一点，我们国内双十一购物和双十一的时候，其实呢，昨天是，呃，这个这个 Michael 和小芳姐和 Michael， 呃，我多介绍一点，小芳姐呢是周恩来总理的后人，啊、呃，她这个呃继承了这个总理的。一致吧，然后做这个和平事业。他跟 Michael 呢来建立这个周恩来和平基金，呃，和平研究院呢是在二零一一年的十一月的十一号啊、呃，这个非常有纪念日的纪念意义的日。昨天是九周年的纪念日，所以我们也在这个直播的时候，在这个时间，呃，在这个中美关系这么。呃，热点的这个时候，大家都关注的时候，然后正好是周恩来和平研究院成立九周年，也使我们呢，这个可以在这个呃遵循呃总理提出来的这个呃世界和平的这个和平共处五项原则。我觉得这个是这个五项原则呢，是呃现在呃未来都应该。中美双方、世界各国都应该遵守的一种国际的一个和平共处的一个原则，所以，我们希望呢，呃，因为时间的关系，呃，我们就呃，希望我们这个新一届的美国总统，无论他是谁，呃，都希望呃，在推动中美关系的这个方面，能够呃，往好的方向。呃，发展那当然就像呃 ，Michael 和小芳姐说的，就是在人民之间的这个呃关系，这个力量，呃，它会促进和推动中美政府之间的关系。啊、呃，我也非常感谢今天啊、呃、，Michael 和小芳姐来参加这个直播。那我们看一下呢，这个看看有没有问题，有没有观众提的问题？等一下，嗯。啊、哦，有一个观众，有一个观众提的问题说，说刚刚 Michael 说，呃，美国美国普通老百姓有不同种族和不同来自不同国家的这个不同种族、不同层次的人，那么他对他们对呃中国政府和中国人的印象是怎么样？嗯、uh, ，Michael and Xiao Fang, you just mentioned China compose a different. Uh, levels and different race, and they come from different country. 
the it's it's like a rainbow to compose the America people, American people. And one of one question ask uh, how those uh, people uh, the the uh, impression to Chinese government and impression to uh, Chinese. They they think China China government or Chinese they're good or bad or in the middle. <laughs> mm. <laughs> they they respect China. They want to understand China. Mm. They need China. Mm. And I want to make an appeal, a request right now. From, mm. I'm just one American, just speaking to one Chinese person. But mm. this comes from one nation to another. America needs China right now because America is in pain for complicated historic and cultural political reasons. America has not been able to deal with COVID. The pandemic is now worse than ever. More than 1,000 people die every day. More than 100,000 people get the virus every day. Mm. More than China had in the whole pandemic, we now have in one day. Yeah. Tafang, you can translate and I will go on. Oh. Fei 我不知道大家知道不知道这就是我们很多美国人因为生命是可贵的一个民族
，嗯，世界它实际上是一个共同体，内心也有我心人，而不是分裂。我们只有团结在一起，才可以抗抗争这个啊、呃、全球的对人类的挑战。啊，这不仅仅是一个国家的面临的这个问题，所以啊。啊、呃，刚才 Michael 讲的合作，啊、呃，还需要团结，而且呢，啊、呃，他讲的那个，啊、呃，那个英文实际上是互利，啊、呃，真正的互利互惠，啊、呃，所以我们啊、呃，这个星河啊、呃，亚太星河国际，我们的宗旨也是多边的合作，而不是单单一的，啊、呃，来共同。啊，我们当然不是说面对这个，啊，这个国家所面对的这种挑战，而是我们在商业啊，商业间的这个啊不同。所以呢，我们啊有很多中美之间有很多可以相互啊帮助、相互给予啊，能够带动整个这个，因为中国是第二经济大国。美国目前呢还是，啊，在全球它是经济大国，第一经济大国，所以这，啊，这两大经济国呢，啊，我们之间的合作是，啊，可以给世界啊，给人类带来这个互惠，所以这个也是我们啊，像 Michael 哈、啊，我们一直都是每天早晨起来工作都是。也算也是啊，激励我们的这个啊，每天不停的在工作吧。So Michael， 啊、um, ，the、uh, China need、uh, you know U.S. need China now， and、uh, we need each other to face the challenge， the global challenge， diseases and war。Disaster, nature disasters. So we, this is our responsibility of this generation. If we don't do it, we will leave. We will leave. What we're gonna leave to our generation? 就是说，我们如果像总理那一代哈，他们做了他们要做的事情。那我们这一代，我们的责任是什么？如果我们不承担我们自己这一代的责任，那我们给我们下一代留下的是什么？所以啊，这个也是值得我们啊思考。谢谢，谢谢，谢谢小芳姐。呃，另外呢，因为你们在陕西榆林的这个项目呢。呃，因为我我本来是想呃，让你们就是比较仔细的解释一下这个项目的一个多边合作、全球多边合作的一个商业模式，呃，这个来来解释目前美国的这个单边主义的这种行不通的一个呃案例。但是现在我是想呢，呃，从商业模式和商业合作的这个。这个角度讲呢，更多的你们这个项目呢，也需要，呃，在中国，因为我我在是说这个模式呢，呃，就是在榆林的是资源，在榆林的是加工，然后可能是用的应该是用的美国的技术、美国的资金，然后在市场呢也是美国也有市场，欧洲也有市场。呃，中国也有市场，对吧？其实它是一个多边合作的一个机制。那么呢，这个我们呃可以，这个 Michael 可以呢用播一下他，就是你们公司这个 PPT 的一个简介，非常呃简单的介绍一下这个这个项目是怎么回事儿，它的合作模式是怎么样。另外呢，需要因为我们是智库嘛，如果是比如说需要在。中国这边的合作，那如果我们的在观众或者是我们直播以后的这个合作的过程中，我我们也会呢，呃，来这个呃对接啊，嫁接这个资源，因为我我觉得这个是 Michael 认为是一个非常好的投资，我们从智库角度认为这是一个呃就是非常好的一个多边合作的一个商业模式。
，我我们也希望呢，除了在商业的角度来合作以外，更多的我们希望来推推荐这种多边合作的模式，也也是加强这个中美和这个中国跟国际之间这种经济的合作。因为在我们智库的层面，在商业的层面，我们在人民的这个层面来做这些事儿呢，也也会促进到这个政府的关系，是吧？Um, uh, Michael, I just uh, uh, I I I will invite you to uh play your PPT. You use a share screen to brief introduction. What is your uh your project as the example of your project in Yulin, Shanxi, for ex express your business model of uh, globalize. How let's say the resources, the mining resources in Yulin, and the manufacturer in Yulin, but you need uh, market market technology funding from America, Europe, and China. See how what kind of a cooperation your partnership from China you you willing to? So the audience later on they can uh, might be contact you or contact us. See uh, we would you know. Uh, join your this this project cooperation, so you can play your PPT to have a brief introduction. Okay. Um, yeah. Show you. Yeah, you can share. Yeah, share your screen and full screen. You make a full screen. Okay. Find the right document here. <laughs> you got to see money. the document. Uh, it should be a PPT or uh, this here. one. Yeah, full screen. Yeah, full screen. Let's see if I can get it. I'm not sure I can get this to go full screen. Um, so we established a company called Galaxy Trade and Technology, Xinghe, and over the past two and a half years, we have established several industries where magnesium is especially beneficial and you can see first one is automotive second is aerospace third is the building industry the fourth one here is the power industry and then health and then green technology and in the center is finance for to serve all of them so you can see how this uh, spreads out. And if you go to galaxymagnesium.com, you can see some of what we've been doing. So we've built an enterprise that is multi-industry and international. It is founded on the base of the supply, the superior supply of magnesium in the mines in Shanxi province. Taofang, you can go forward from there. Uh, you have a Chinese already, yeah. so they can. Yeah, yeah Xiaofang, okay. yeah. We, so we might just, not need Chinese to translate it anymore. Yeah, it's in okay, Chinese. Okay, great. Okay, I like that. I like yeah. that. Okay. I, yeah, okay. Now I can speak Chinese. Yeah, okay, please go ahead. <laughs> so the, the second part of the of the Xinghe formula, in addition to supplying the magnesium from Yulin, is the world markets and building a demand for magnesium in these different industries. So in America and in Europe, in the Middle East, in Africa, all across Asia, there are needs the first one that we identified is in automotive, where one of the major uh, sources of pollution and greenhouse gases uh, is comes from cars. And if we can make cars and vehicles of all kinds, if we can make them lighter, then they will be more efficient. And we came up with a very unusual strategy, I think, which is to show how cars can be made lighter that are racing. Cars that race in a competitive race around and around the track, they have the most difficult challenge. 
So we made an alliance with a company here in Georgia called Panos, and we've uh, we took uh, cars out onto the track with a tour called the SRO. Uh, that's a European uh, tour, and we're demonstrating that magnesium can be very effective in uh, in in running um, cars that are lighter but they're also just as strong and just as safe, and they can stand up to the biggest challenges of transportation. So that's the industry number one. So everything that moves on the land, everything from bicycles to cars to uh, uh, buses to high-speed trains, all can benefit from this. And then everything that lifts off the ground into the air. So all the aircraft that we fly and the spacecraft that we launch can all be made lighter and more efficient with, uh, with magnesium. And then you get to buildings. You know what is also a big source of energy drain for the world is when we build buildings with the concrete and the steel and the glass and everything, we lift everything up into the air, it burns a tremendous amount of energy and holding it there for decades after it's built and cooling it and so on is a huge industry. If we use magnesium, um, then we can save energy when we build it, save energy when it's been built. And we've developed a, a number of products, including the beams and the cement and the rebar in the cement and so on that can be made much more efficiently with magnesium. Then we come to health. You know, part of our bodies is magnesium. We all have magnesium in our bones, our teeth, our blood, everywhere. And magnesium is a critical element to sustain health not only for humans, but for all life. It's the source, it's, it's a major uh, element in photosynthesis, which allows plants to grow and allows us to grow food and everything. Without magnesium, life on earth would be impossible. So if you get short of magnesium, if you have a, a deficit of magnesium, this can have a very uh, subtle, but very powerful effects on your health and we want to make high quality magnesium available to people for nutrition as part of their diet and also in the in the pharmaceutical industry as medical treatment to treat uh, magnesium deficiency which is worldwide people in china have magnesium deficiency people in america people everywhere have magnesium deficiency the next industry that we've looked at and we're active in is the power industry. The, uh, the, the, the way that we explore uh, for oil and gas, the way that we drill and that we lift the oil and gas up out of the earth is very inefficient. So new technology has been developed in China that we are bringing to the world to make the process of generating energy from uh, oil and gas much more efficient and other ways that we can that we can uh, send magnesium into the earth that makes uh, extracting the oil and gas from the rocks more efficient you can see here where there's several technologies that we've developed and that we're bringing to the world in conjunction with our partners across china so there is a lot of interest in this in all the continents of the world. And we've set up a company called Galaxy Power. And then there's the green industry. We, we're, we're going to announce some new products in this industry soon. I can't talk about them yet. <laughs> it's a little bit of a secret. We have to protect it. Uh, but there will be some very interesting announcements coming in the next few weeks uh, in conjunction with partners of ours in uh, Shenzhen. And then there's the finance. We realize that it's good to have the supply, it's good to have the demand, but who's going to provide the capital 
that's necessary to finance the development of magnesium and make it so that it's economical, that it has a predictable price, that it has a uh, uniform quality, and so that big customers like uh, Mercedes-Benz or Volkswagen or Ford and General Motors and big customers like Neo uh, in China, they could have large quantities of efficient magnesium delivered regularly. So that's why we set up Galaxy Finance. Galaxy Finance does two main things. First of all, we are we have a, an alliance with a company in New York called Wisdom Capital, Wisdom Finance, and they're helping us to provide the, the, the structured um, credit necessary to finance the industry. But we want to be able to offer long-term guaranteed prices to customers and Together with our alliances in China, we're developing an exchange, almost like the London Metals Exchange or almost like the Shanghai Stock Exchange, like the New York Stock Exchange, but we're developing a little exchange just for magnesium so that customers all over the world can uh, see what the prices are, see what the products are, they can bid, they can uh, fulfill the orders 24-7. We're at establishing this uh, in Geneva, Switzerland, so that it's operating according to international principles. But uh, together with our partners in China, both uh, our producers and our financial partners, uh, we're generating the, the capital necessary to really make uh, magnesium a global industry that is that is strong and stable. So far, uh, magnesium has not lived up to its potential because the industry uh, that produces 70% of the world's magnesium, which is in China, has not been organized in a disciplined way. Many small mines, medium mines, they're all competing with each other there's little dealers, traders, distributors. It's uh, difficult for big customers to make sense of the magnesium market. And our company, Xinghe, Galaxy Magnesium, is solving that problem for the customers all over the world and for the producers in Shanxi province and really across the whole of China. There are many producers uh, of magnesium um, across China, and we're very, we're very proud and very humbled at the mm -hmm. opportunity to work with these talented people in uh, Shanxi, um, to work with Xi'an and Yulin, to bring this very important resource of China to the world, so that it feeds the people of China, it feeds families, it makes stronger communities, it builds the economy, it builds the competitive competitiveness of China. That's all good. And we want to make it so that the magnesium industry all across the world gets stronger so that uh, families and communities in America and Germany and Dubai and Africa <laughs> will also be able to enjoy the benefits of a vigorous, diverse magnesium industry. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. And wish you a business, global business to be successful. Well, we're doing it yeah. really because yeah. it's a good business, but also yeah. because it's the foundation of peace. If yes. we talk like this, America and China and Europeans and Canadians and everyone else. If we talk like this to build something of value from magnesium, then we're also building the foundation for peace and understanding between us okay. and our families. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, because of time reasons, we will end the broadcast today. Then we hope this. 呃，中美关系呢，这个在正确的轨道上发展，然后也祝愿这个 Michael 和小芳的生意呃成功。
，然后也希望 Michael 和小芳早日回家。呃，我们在北京等着欢迎你们。Um, but the time limited, so we are just uh, ending here. So we wish um, the relationship between China and uh, America can be developed in the right track. And yes. yeah, and uh, also wish your global business to be successful. And uh, we are here in Beijing, uh, waiting for welcome you to. Come back to home uh, yeah. as early yeah. as possible. <laughs> yes, we have a big, uh, yeah, good party to welcome you, you too. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> we have to grow um, big wings, big wings, so we can fly <laughs> across to see you. Yeah, we will have a charter flight to pick you up and <laughs> and pick you up to come to home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so we we say goodbye to audience. We can say goodbye to the audience. Bye bye. 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 Bye b